Hi Libra, this is going to be a general love reading for April 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. It is going to be general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person signs. All right, also the roles can be reversed, so do keep that in mind. And sometimes they can overlap. So let's see, what is going on with Libra? First half of April. 2021. All right, we have communication and we have bound. Ooh, okay. So it could be that there is not much communication at this point in time, or yeah, it could feel that somebody is feeling um, bound, <laughs> not able to communicate for for some reason are holding back from communicating. So it could be you, could be your person, could be the both of you. It could be that there's a negative attachment here as well, which is preventing this communication from being effective. So if you are in communication, it could just be that this communication is a little bit toxic at the moment, or it's just not very clear. So let's see, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the first half of April 2021. All right, that is the Ten of Cups. So just to have that in mind, that just fell out. Um, talks about a lot of love, that's for sure. Let's see. All right, so for the situation, we have the Ten of Swords. Ooh, this was an intense energy in Gemini's reading, crossed by the Four of Swords. All right, okay, so there might be, there's an ending here that has happened, or there's just a lot of pain that somebody is having a really hard time healing from. Um, I feel like there's a sense of trying to heal from it, but just being challenged when it comes to doing that. Let's see, recent past, we have Lovers. Near future, we have judgment. All right, yeah, so definitely a very strong connection here um, with you and another person. And it does look like there is something major that is going to come up um, for you in the near future. We'll see when we clarify. So for your energy, we have the Four of Pentacles. For them, we have the Seven of Cups. Deeper look at you is the Queen of Cups. Let me move them up so you can see them. For them, the High Priestess and potential outcome here is the Hierophant. All right, Libra. It does look like it does look like things are moving in a in a good positive direction here. Um, for you, it does feel like oh gosh, okay, you're you're holding on to this is what I'm getting here. You're really holding on to this. Um, Connection. I mean, not. I'm not seeing it as being toxic. Like, I don't think you're holding on to it in a toxic way. Um, but I do see you feeling a lot of love for this person, and just not not releasing it, not not wanting to release it, not yet at least. For them, they have the Seven of Cups and the High Priestess. So I feel like there's a lot of confusion on their end. Um, Possibly not knowing what to do, not knowing how to express themselves, not knowing how to, what they should even be doing here. And I feel like that's why, I feel like it's mostly on their end holding back um, this communication here with the High Priestess. We'll see. But we do have the, the Hierophant as a potential outcome here for the first half of April. So I do see some, either some commitment coming through or just some kind of, maybe even an understanding. Maybe even just, you know, having learned something from this and just having that deeper knowledge or an understanding when it comes to what is going on here. Let's see. But again, you know, the potential outcome could be a little further out. Time is relevant, so... Yeah. 
All right, let's see. Ten of Swords with the Four of Swords. And it could be that some of you are dealing with a Gemini. Do let me know, because we also have Gemini showing up here. And like I said, that Ten of Swords was very um, prominent in Gemini's reading. All right, the Two of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, there's definitely something here that feels very, very difficult to manage, all right? Having both the Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Um, it could be that somebody is feeling burdened by a decision or by trying to balance more than one energy in in some way. Just having a lot to deal with at the moment where it feels like it's just getting so heavy, I don't know what to do about it. Um, and I don't know how to heal from this. But whoever that is, whether it is you or whether it is your person, I feel like there is some trying to figure it out, at least. There is some effort that is being um, put into whatever the situation is. It could even be trying to end something, trying to bring something to an end in a healing type of a way. Um, and it feels like it's just causing a lot of a, a, lot of a struggle. Um, but yeah, there's... It's like this person is doing something. They are trying to figure figure out a way of going about that. Let's see if we can get anything on the lovers for the recent past. We have the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Wands. All right, yeah, so it feels like recently, you know, there's, I mean, that love is there. The connection is there which again is reminding me of Gemini. <laughs> um, but it was also very difficult. There was a lot of resistance in this connection, even though there was something that, this was something that you both really, really wanted here. All right, with the Nine of Cups, or at least one of you really, really wanted this, but I'm mostly getting that it has to do with the both of you. All right, that you both wanted this. And there was just some resistance to something. Somebody was either very, very guarded or was just dealing with another challenge um, simultaneously, which prevented, which prevented that Ten of Cups from, from manifesting. And I'm referring to the Ten of Cups that fell out in the, um, while I was shuffling, because we have the nine here. So for me, it's kind of like, yeah, it got to that, it reached the nine, but it didn't get to the 10. Uh, it almost feels like somebody gave up last minute. Kind of like, you know, being so close to the finish line and then giving up. So that's what it feels like. And I feel like that's what this Ten of Swords might actually be. And so there's some resistance around um, communication, possibly because of ego, um, fear maybe. I don't know. Let's see the Four of Pentacles for your energy. All right, we have the Sun and we have... The Ten of Swords again. <laughs> what is going on, Libra? What is going on with the air signs? I haven't done Aquarius yet, but um, yeah, I think Gemini also had the Ten of Swords twice. Um, you're holding. I feel like you're you're holding on to this, even though you do feel the pain. You do feel like it is ended, but you just don't want it to end because this is just something that has in the past at least made you feel so good and you just feel like you know this could bring happiness that there could be some joy and fulfillment in this connection it might even be that you're having a hard time also healing from from this ending, almost like, you know, not really believing that it's that it's over. Um, and maybe it's not. I mean, I don't see it as being over, to be honest with you. The way I'm uh, with having judgment and the Hierophant in the future energies, I don't I don't see it as being over. I see it as still having um, lessons to learn. For sure, at the very least. Let me see the Queen of Cups. All right, the Queen of Swords, Page of Swords, and the Page of Wands. 
I wanted to say this earlier, but this is, um, it's not going to be for all of you. This is just for a small group of you where there might be ch children involved. Um, on your end, all right? It's for those of you where there might be children involved on your end. That might just be playing a big um, part here. And this might be something that is just influencing the way that you are going about this, all right? Um, it's not very clear how, but I, again, it does feel like there's a lot of love here. And I feel like you're kind of torn between um, your heart and your mind when it comes to this connection. It feels like at the moment, or for the first half of April, whenever, um, that there's this contrast here between what your mind is telling you and what your what you feel deep inside in your heart and just what you feel passionate for. There's like a clash. And it's almost as if you don't know which one to listen to or which method to um, try to go by. I, you know, and what I'm getting here is that for some of you, it might be helpful to, you know, to have your boundaries, you know, um, if you feel like, I mean, it really depends on the situation, but sometimes, you know, what can be for our best interest is to hold a loving energy while also being firm at the same time and having boundaries at the same time, which is not an easy thing to do. And again, it really depends on your situation. Let's see what's going on with them. Let's see the Seven of Cups. All right, we have Justice, which is your energy, actually, and the Emperor. Okay, wow. So, yeah, this person might be really confused, not really knowing what to do. I almost feel like there might be some... Um, there might even be some illusions from their side. Um, really not seeing things clearly and, and, you know, seeing things differently than what they really are. Especially when it comes to making some kind, either making some kind of a decision that is going to be for, for their highest good as well. Um, I, I'm just getting for their highest good independently of you or of this connection like it's something that has to do with them but in some way it's also interconnected with the with the um, connection with you um, so yeah this person is very confused but I feel like their intentions are in the right place I feel like they do want to make the right right decisions or to you know really um, figure out whatever it is that is going on with them but however, you know, th this is still keeping them from um, communicating properly with you or from communicating clearly with you. And I feel like if, if it's if the case is that they're not communicating clearly or there's something like that just feels off in their communication is because they really are very, very um, confused here about what is the right thing to do. It could even be that they might feel like, well, it, the right thing to do is not to have much communication right now for whatever reason. Let me see the High Priestess, which is also their energy. All right, we have the World and Temperance. There's major things happening here. Um, that's a lot of um, major arcana right up here in this corner. Um, and here for, for your person. So this person is, is going through, I feel, major, major lessons right now. Um, tr trying to clear things up, clearing up um, illusions and just misperceptions, which is also causing that unclear type of communication or a lack of communication. They're in the process of trying to find some kind of balance. I feel like they're waiting for something. They're waiting to close out some kind of a cycle here, some kind of a pattern, um, maybe a repetitive cycle that has been happening, whatever that is, or just something major in their life. I feel like they are 
slowly healing and finding that balance within themselves in order to close out a chapter but they're being very quiet about it they're they're not they're just not communicating that i do see this being in alignment actually with their with their um you know um higher self but it, it confuses them at the same time which is what results in that confusion and which could be what is resulting in this ending or healing from it. Let's see what's coming up. Let me see judgment. All right, the King of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, so something is going to happen quickly, I feel. Um, somebody is really taking charge here when it comes to something new. I I mean, I'm seeing it as some kind of a reconnection here, especially having judgment together with the Ace of with the Ace of Wands. And I feel like it's going to happen quickly. I feel like there's going to be like some kind of a major revelation. So this reconnecting could just be in in the form of communication if that is what is lacking. I see something coming back something coming back from the past. And I feel like that's going to feel like some kind of, possibly like some kind of a determination, like it's going to feel very, um, I almost want to say aggressive in a way. So the details of that is going to be different for each of you, but it's, it's feeling a bit aggressive um, with like a new powerful potential of something here. If anything, at the very least, it's going to be a huge, huge revelation. And I do feel like that is going to be um, communicated in some way. Let me see the higher things. The Knight of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Three of Swords. Yeah. So two knights here for the future energies and then and two aces. So both both combinations have an ace and a knight. This is definitely some action that is being taken here. Something is shifting big time. And I do feel like it is going to be um, for the best, like it's moving in a more positive direction, whether that be commitment or just a really, like just a coming together in understanding. Okay, like that, that just keeps coming through to me as well with judgment and, and the Hierophant. Just a really deep understanding where I feel as if there was a lack of communication or just difficult communication um, during this time period. So I do feel like that is coming up. Um, possibly along with some more determined action this time more determinism but it does also come along with some pain all right with this three of swords being here there might be something um a little bit painful attached to this to this happening and i mean that could be dealing with whatever that ten of swords is But it's definitely major stuff here coming up pretty soon, I feel. All right, Libra. If this resonated with you, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And let's see what your final oracle message is. First light, beginning a new cycle. So yeah, um, it's definitely going to be new. I feel like that's coming up. I don't feel like you're, you're feeling this just yet. You might be for some of you, but I feel like this is something that is just on the horizon for you. After that, Ten of Swords is cleared. All right, Libra, thank you so much for watching. Much love.